good evening everyone welcome to durga soft welcome to durga soft online training welcome to durga soft online training and uh, welcome to logic based programming logic based programming batch so in short form i will call it as lbp logic based programming and this is the 12th batch successfully we have completed 12 batches 11 batches this is the 12th batch what we have uh, let me give introduction about myself so myself k prakash babu having almost 15 years of experience as a trainer and uh, coming to this course the title of the course is logic based programming lbp batch number so batch number 12 so what about the timings of this particular class is every day monday to saturday we have class at 8 pm 8 pm every day so except on sundays we will have the classes at 8 8 to 9 9 15 like the time going to take so what is the duration what is the duration of this course so this course is two months sir but max we will wind up by one and a half month. okay and um, uh, sir what things how many programs we are going to cover in this that is very very important because sir it is not a language level concept okay it is nothing but programming course programming course in the sense so for it is highly recommended for everyone anyway i will explain in that uh, uh, what is the need for this so here how many programs we are going to cover sir 350 plus programs we are going to cover here 350 plus programs we are going to cover and what languages we are using here in the sense every program i am going to explain in c language and java and python every every program implementation will be there in these three languages every program implementation will be there in these three languages okay now what is the fees for this batch it is rupees 2500 live classes okay so this include live classes plus recordings and running notes. okay running notes. sir here recordings will be having seven months validity remaining things running notes anyway lifetime validity and uh, how many demos will be there sir demos uh, today is the first demo 4 1 2023 and the second demo will be on so 5 1 2023 third demo will be on so 6 1 2023 only three demos and immediately the actual class the actual class will start on so 9th john okay so 9 1 2023 2023 immediately we are going to start so coming to this what the things we are going to cover in this but before that i told already some batch already we have started if you want i will provide that batch videos also that means youtube videos are there so i am going to share that information also for you people okay i am going to share that information also for you people just i have shared that link in the chat window you can cross check so in youtube in our youtube channel that complete playlist is there anyway same content only we are going to cover sir how many programs will be there here how many programs will be there here i told 350 programs will be there right so let me check in our website that a complete information program headings are there just let me check yes so you can see here so all these programs heading i have given here 
program number 0012 how many programs we have so almost uh, 350 programs in my hand we have okay so every program implementation we are going to see here this is nothing but i can say syllabus so total how many programs we are going to cover 350 programs every program implementation will be there in all the languages and for whom this course is benefitable very simple sir i can say for everyone this course is highly recommended whether you are a final year student or pre-final year student or working professional or anyone so if you want to improve your logical thinking okay so if you want to improve your logical thinking definitely this course is going to be helpful i request everyone to register it is a matter of three to four movies tickets that's all so that's why so keep it in mind definitely every day if you practice these programs so whatever content i'm going to deliver for you people same thing if you practice simultaneously definitely you will become very strong in coding area and you know very well coding is the very very important uh, for, for to sustain in our it industry okay then next one sir here if you want to understand these problems compulsory you must have an idea in programming language yes at least you should have very efficient in basics either in c language or java or python any program you should be at least basics you should then only this course is going to be helpful but anyway so i will take your hand don't worry whenever you are feeling difficulty or whenever i am taking that concept as a first so uh, while explaining the example i am telling suppose if any program is there related to the while loop first i will explain while loop syntax very beginning then i will go with while loop. so in all the languages if i explain you people will get very clear clarity okay next sir this is the main mandatory prerequisite for this course you must have at least basics in all these languages okay sir next one sir uh, i am going to give the program and i will provide what is the input for the program and what is the output what kind of format you have to accept what kind of output you have to display everything i will provide even some inputs and outputs also i have already dumped into the database just your task is nothing but so i will show you a panel there you have to write the program once if the program is finished you can click submit button so if there is no error in your program successfully your code is going to be come uh, your code is going to be submitted like that we have the complete structure is there so i think you have remembered so hacker rank website is there from this we are going to use uh, some uh, uh, tools or hacker rank link tool we are using to practice our programs anyway i will show you how that link is going to work everything okay so this is nothing but so agenda of our course what we have so if you have any doubts in this you can feel free to ask i will clarify all your doubts and then i will continue the execution I mean, our concepts will be started. Can you please confirm up to this? Do you have any doubts? Uh, yes, what? No response is coming from your side. Can you please confirm? Do you have any doubts? If you have any queries, please let me know. Don't be ideal. No, sir. I'm good with it. Right. I don't know what happened for remaining. Only few people are responding. Okay, no issues. Sir, the level of these programs will be from basics to advanced. Basic to advanced. Every program we are going to cover. Okay. So, it will be very useful for everyone, sir. Okay. Now, I will take one or two programs today to demonstrate. 
sir the first program which i am going to take for you people to understand okay so uh, program number of course uh, i am not going to cover immediately i am not going to start the syllabus just i will take one small okay so what is that program here we have you can able to see on my screen program number 120 okay so prime number or not anyway i will explain this program again but just for your understanding purpose so implement a program to check whether the given number is prime number or not what is the input for this program an integer value we have to supply as a input what output they are expecting either true or false you have to get output as either true or false that's all now sir if you take example if i am giving two as a input what output i am expecting we know uh, we know very well two is nothing but a prime number so the expected answer is two. so three it is also a prime number if you take four is it a prime number no we have to get false if you take five is it a, is it is it a prime number yes two like this we have okay this is nothing but example what is the logic for this we have two logics are there here sir okay we have two logics are there what is the first logic is nothing but by using iteration we can solve and also by using recursion we can solve by using iteration and by using recursion both we can solve first i will explain by using iteration sir how you can able to do this very simple sir if you understand sir if you take any number for example number is equal to 4 means you have to start um, a loop which should start from 1 to 4 which should start from 1 to 4 so which should start from 1 to 4 so first we have to divide this 4 with 1 and you have to divide 4 with we have to divide 4 with 3 we have to divide 4 with 4 sir is it divisible yes if you divide 4 with 1 okay 1 fours are 4 remainder is 0 yes it is divisible is it divisible with 2 yes if you divide with 2 2 twos are 4 yes divisible is it divisible by 3 no if you divide 4 with 3 so 3 ones are 3 remainder is 1 so it is not 0 is it divisible by 4 yes how many times it is divisible this is first time this is second time this is third time so three times it is divisible that means sir how many factors we are getting how many factors we are getting three factors so for any number if number of factors is equal to 2 then that number is said to be prime number otherwise not okay listen carefully if uh, a number having only two factors only two factors is uh, said to be prime number like this we have sir can you write this in the form of coding yes i am going to take initially factors is equal to 0 so for i is equal to, i will start dividing the number from 1 i less than or equal to n i plus plus so i am going to start the number from 1 to whatever number that you have given suppose if the number is 5 i is equal to 1 i is equal to 2 i is equal to 3 i is equal to 4 i is equal to 5 like that it is going to take so every time n percentage i is equal to 0 or not i am checking okay if it is equal to 0 then what is the meaning factors plus plus that's all finally if a factors is equal to 2 then we have to print true else we have to print false sir anyway i will execute this first of all i will explain this logic listen carefully 
consider the number n is equal to i am giving 3 initially factor is equal to 0 i value i value will become 1 i value will become 2 i value will become 3 because up to less than 3 n i am dividing with i sir is 3 percentage 1 is it divisible yes so 3 percentage 2 is it divisible no 3 percentage 3 is it divisible yes how many times it is divisible two times every time factor will be incremented sir how many factors we got two that means it is a prime number excellent if you take n is equal to 6 factor plus is equal to initially 0 your i values will be 1 2 3 up to less than or equal to n sir is is 6 is divisible by 1 yes is 6 is divisible by 2 yes this time 1 this time is 6 is divisible by 3 yes is 6 is divisible by 4 no is 6 is divisible by 5 no is 6 is divisible by 6 yes how many factors we are getting four if it is two then only two otherwise we have to print false it is not a prime like this we have a logic okay so if you understand this logic very clearly i will write a program in all the languages to execute this concept by using hacker bank so can you please confirm is this a problem statement and example and how i have written the logic is these things are clear for you people please respond please respond everyone please respond yes sir yes sir yes sir please do right very good please wait for one second right so we have hacker rank link is there okay so http colon double slash www dot hacker rank dot com slash lbp test this is nothing but just demo link in this some demo programs already i have stored okay let me check sir is this link is going to work or not you can open any browser and you have to log in with your uh, credentials like uh, any any gmail credential is also sufficient okay like this we are going to get oh lbp test yeah this is the link yeah yes we have to use right this is nothing but the link what we have just you need to enter into the contest so uh, this is a temporary link sir we will give original link later okay so you can start immediately registering if you are interested with this batch you can immediately start registering you people are going to get videos everything uh, whatever we have covered okay here you can see for the previous batch i explained the with the help of diagram also such a type of diagrams also you people are going to get and here you can see uh, we are going to share this particular running notes and even hacker rank link original hacker rank link and if i am explaining any code with the diagrams that information also will be available here okay so you people are going to receive that and here some programs already we have what is the number of this program 120 i am taking this program try again so here already 10 members have submitted this code implement a program to check whether the given number is prime number or not input format is an integer value is going to be supplied 
and is there any constraints output is either true or false so sample input 0 is 3 because we know 3 is a prime number 6 it is not a prime number 7 it is a prime number and here we have a panel from which we can select which language you have to implement so first i will go with the c language implementation they will provide the skeleton sir just we have to write the that's all so i am taking c language implementation of this program okay how you can able to implement sir i am going to take first required variables so you can see from the logic we need n value we need i value we need f value sir now you have to read the n value from the user you can use a scanf statement in c language to read input from the user okay we can use a scanf statement in c language to read input from the user i am going to read that input and i will store it in n i am going to read that input and i will store it in n now what we have to do number of factors is equal to zero initially okay number of factors is equal to zero initially for i is equal to one i less than or equal to n i plus plus I am going to divide that number is divisible with i or not. If yes, f plus plus. That's all right. So simple logic. Now in the printf, I am taking conditional operator array. Whatever calculation we have done for factors, if it is equal to 2, then I have to print the result saying true. Otherwise, I want to print the result saying false like this i have that's all let us execute at least some sample test cases are there is it passed or not just we have to run the so don't submit directly because your program may have errors that's why just to understand that you have to run the code yes my expected output and the output which came from the program correct if everything is okay you have to submit the code. don't ask this again submit the code so some hidden test cases will be there so it is passing all the hidden test cases your score is one point status is accepted so the program which you have written is perfectly working this is nothing but what we have like this if you practice 350 c programs first point you will become expert in c language fundamentals second you people can able to solve any kind of problem see definitely you are going to get the same kind of problem only right okay definitely you are going to get the same kind of problems so nothing will be changed if you write for loop for 100 programs you will be become expert in for loop. so there is no chance of getting mistakes okay so these things if you want to enjoy better you have to register for this course okay Sir, I request everyone to please respond. Do you have any doubt in this C language implementation? If it is clear, I will go with Java implementation. Everyone, please respond clear. Yes, sir. Clear, sir. Good. Sir, can you please explain the line number 419? 419. Why are you using this? And Ma'am, it is it is it is nothing but a predefined format. In C language, every function should return some value. Okay, so that okay. format is there. Okay, okay. We are not required to concentrate on that. Okay. okay. Sir, here factor means we are counting, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, sir. One second, please wait. Right. So the next one, 
what we have i need to implement the same thing by using java so let's go for java implementation how we can able to solve this program in java so just what we have to do you need to select java code here and concept is same so how to read data from the user in c language we have used scanf but in java we have to take scanner class anything you can take scanner obj i am taking is equal to new scanner of within bracket system dot in i have taken scanner class object so integer what are the required variables same right n f and then i and uh, what is the value of n obj dot next line something like scanf percentage d we have used in c language right in the same way in java i am taking n is equal to obj dot next int i accepted n value from the user how many factors are there initially zero now for i is equal to 1 i less than or equal to n i plus plus same logic if n percentage i is equal to zero factors plus plus i am taking and here i want to print system dot out dot print ln of sir in the previous programming i mean in c language we don't have any boolean types okay we don't have any boolean uh, one will be considered as a zero will be considered as a false in in c language but in java we have a special type is there called boolean so we are not required to uh, take a separate thing directly here itself you can print f double equal to that means if number of factors is equal to 2 it is going to return two. otherwise it is going to return false that's why directly we can take and we can submit the code sir you can able to see here so all the three test cases are passed or not yes now you can submit your code and you can cross check here so every test case is satisfied okay now i want to submit this code yeah submitted already this is nothing but java implementation sir every one can you please confirm is this java implementation is it clear for you people yes sir right now i need to take python implementation let us go for python implementation how you can able to solve sir python is the most easiest programming language what we have in the world okay so you can solve efficiently and very easily of course here we can't reduce the instructions especially for this program for remaining programs you can so n is equal to int of input here variable declarations are not required directly you can use whatever variable you required okay i am going to read this directly okay like you can see n is equal to i have taken int of inputs okay after this i am going to initialize factors is equal to 0 but java c language for loop is same but python for loop is different so for each i value in the range of 1 to n plus 1 and we don't have brackets here we have indentation so if n percentage i is equal to 0 factors is equal to factors plus 1 and uh, i want to print true when so if f is double equal to else false don't worry i will explain this code listen carefully sir n is equal to we will read the value for example 3 f factors is equal to initially 0 for i in the range of 1 to that means it will drop the numbers from 1 to n plus 1 n plus 1 means 4 so it will stop reading it will stop generating up to n minus 1 so 1 2 3 because n value is 3 3 plus 1 means 4 1 to 4 means first value included last value excluded that's why we will get 3 sir why can't we take 1 comma n 
if you take 1 comma n 1 comma 3 1 comma 3 means it will generate the values only 1 2 but we need that value right that's why i have taken n plus 1 i think remaining things you know and you can't take f plus plus here because increment decrement operators are not there in python and conditional operator is also a bit different so print true when if number of factors is equal to 2 otherwise it is going to print false now let's execute this code on practice you people will get clarity on this yes three test cases are there all the three test cases are success and submit the code you can see all the remaining test cases also satisfied here like this we have okay i hope you people got a very clear clarity about this one sir is this a challenge how to implement in all these languages is it clear for you people guys please respond yes sir yes sir right so like this we are going to cover the programs okay sir i told already just we have only few programs i have demonstrated so i explained all these programs in detail for the old batch okay so you can you can cross check in youtube so we have old videos are there okay so just i am going to search for durga soft so durga soft if i take so you can able to check here in playlist so you can able to check um, there is that logic based programming yes logic based programming total five videos are there okay all these videos i explained very clearly okay you can cross check this later so in this we have only demo programs okay you can cross check every program i covered very clearly same link i already forwarded for you people okay so again i am forwarding you please cross check it once so next um, sir some programs i already covered for this patch uh, if you want you can cross check so i have covered how many programs i think uh, five to six programs I covered related to this. But anyway, after that, I have started our regular programs. Okay. So, one sec, I will show you. Yeah. So, these are the programs which I covered for previous batch. Program number three, next integer. Anyway, I am going to solve in this batch only. Uh, then, I, for demo purpose, I have explained this. Uh, coffee cups i have explained this one also i am going to explain for this batch maybe tomorrow you will get it right? and 120 which is not related to this but anyway i explained for you people now okay so next we have covered one more program that another logic is there by using recursion that i will take tomorrow and one more program i have covered that is nothing but nine ninth program anyway that we are going to cover tomorrow okay so next and after that 15 i have covered that also we are going to cover for this batch okay i think that's all 130 perfect number so maybe tomorrow i will cover this tomorrow i will cover this and okay that's all we can directly jump so from the first program i explain sir 130 first i explained 120 tomorrow i will explain this 130 program so after that anyway continuation will be there okay so for that batch already i have taken the programs up to which program i covered you can able to see here so i have covered up to yes 13 programs program number 0012 program number 013 these programs i have already completed for the previous batch 
those people are in hold we are going to cover these programs so by tomorrow okay by tomorrow okay that is nothing but on thursday and friday and saturday we will complete this and next class we are going to combine with other students with monday as usual from program number 15 onwards i mean program number 14 onwards so you both people are going to be combined okay now sir i will i will start immediately the programs so that you people will get some clarity someone is asking sir please show this program yeah you can take screenshot devi right so now i will start the first program i will start the first program okay already the program headings are there okay so this is nothing but the first program what we have now you can see so first program is what welcome message you know in every programming language the first program which we are going to write is nothing but to print hello world message on the screen right we will write the first program to print hello world message on the screen so here also same thing we are going to take hello world message but here instead of hello world we are going to read so program i mean programmer name and we are going to wish this message okay yeah someone is asking to paste hacker rank link anyway this is the temporary hacker rank link only few programs are there in this uh, once if our regular class has started i will give the permanent link there all programs will be there now let us see this example i am taking suppose if the input is durga what they are expecting welcome durga if input is something like uh, prakash the output what they are expecting is welcome prakash listen carefully if the input is so prakash babu then sir the output which they are expecting is welcome prakash babu listen carefully in every program sir don't feel that it is a very simple program don't feel like that in every program i designed in such a way that you people are going to get at least one concept you people are going to get at least one concept like that i prepared the program okay so please be very clear now what is the logic behind this sir very simple we have to read user name or name from the user and and we have to print welcome followed by welcome followed by given name followed by given name seems to be it is very easy but once if it is comes to the implementation you can understand what hidden secrets are there here sir program number 1 is the example and logic are clear for you people please confirm is the example and logic are clear for you people please confirm yes sir yes sir right so i will go with implementation first program right so you can able to see in this i think the programs list is also there oh it is not there okay no problem uh, just a second give me one second i will add that program now itself because the admin control is there with me just i will add so program number 001 and i will try to add a second program also because we are going to practice tomorrow yeah i have added just to refresh it it will come yes here is their program number 1 let me solve this challenge you can see here okay implement a program to read username and display welcome message on the console sir if user name is admin the output what we are getting is welcome admin if user name is prakash the output is welcome prakash if user name is prakash babu 
welcome prakash babu sir please take a bit very special care how to read a string in c language so string means collection of characters i am giving name of 100 maximum 100 characters be there like the time taking so scan f in previous program percentage d we have used to read integer percentage yes you have to use to read string for integer you have to use ampersand for string not required to take any ampersand and that's all print f welcome followed by space and then yes in that yes place we have to take uh, name so whatever name that you are giving it will be printed but there is one small mistake is there in this program mistake in the sense logical mistake sir it is working for test case 0 and test case 1 but not working for test case 2 why in the test case 0 since input is only one word we got that word as it is in the second test case only one word is there that's why it is coming but in the third test case we have two words are there my output is taking only one word but expected output is two words so in my program it is taking it is reading only first first word whenever you got a space it is stop reading the data are sir i want to take including spaces in between this percentage and yes sir, within square brackets take um, cap of slash n. that means until you are getting new line character it will read the data until you are getting new line character it will read the data means including spaces it will read the data now if you run the code you can see sir is the third case is working or not perfectly working and submit the code mm, now you can see every test case is working i hope you people got very clear clarity in c language can you please confirm friends everyone is this a c language implementation is cleared for you people i hope you got a new concept from here clear good good sir what about java what about java let's go to java implementation in java also we have this trick i am taking java so so i am taking scanner obj is equal to new scanner of system dot in i am taking so string name is equal to obj dot we have next is there and you can print a system dot out dot print ln of welcome followed by so i am going to take name plus is the concatenation operator in java sir again we are going to get the same problem here also because it will read only one word sir including spaces if you want to read in the place of next you have to take next line l starts with capital then what it is going to do it will read the total line from the user and submit the code will it works definitely and submit the code so you can able to see here it is working perfectly this is nothing but how you can able to execute so hope you people got very clear clarity about java implementation also please confirm friends clear up to this everyone please respond right now sir what we have to do now i need to execute this program in python in python 
we don't have any such type of restrictions okay that's why i told python is the very best programming language sir after attending this particular course definitely you people are going to register for python course also name is equal to simply input and print welcome comma name automatically it will give space as a separation that's all is it going to work yes beautifully it is working now submit the code yes you can see all the test cases are working properly okay so that's all this is nothing but python code what we have sir clear up to this any doubt in this program sir everyone please respond clear up to this right sir what is the second program that we have hmm. after this you know very well the second program will become addition of two numbers second program will become addition of two numbers so implement a program to read two integer values from the user and perform addition operation let me take example sir if the numbers are 2 and 3 what output they are expecting 2 plus 3 is 5 if two numbers are 1 and 3 what output they are expecting 2 because minus 1 plus 3 will become 2 if the numbers are 4 and 4 the output what they are expecting is 8 what is the logic behind this very simple basic program only so we have to read a and b values we have to read and a and b values from user and we have to print a plus b in all the languages we have plus operator is there to perform addition operation i think directly we can write the code let us go with c language implementation how to do this in c language we will see now so same link i am taking here we have second program is there okay you can see 1 and 2 means output is 3 so 10 and 11 means 21 so 5 and 5 means 10 i will take c language what we have to do declare two variables let us take a comma b you have to read two values so we have to take two percentage this one is to store a value another one is to, to store b value print f percentage d comma a plus b they are expecting only one result run the code yes beautiful and submit the code is it working for all the cases yes okay now i need to go for java implementation how to solve this program in java hmm? how to take let us select java code and anyway skeleton is already there just we have to declare scanner class is equal to new scanner class system dot in i am taking then integer a is equal to obj dot next int to take integer value b is equal to obj dot next int to read next integer value and system dot out dot print ln of a plus b i am taking to print both values addition like this we have submit the code this is nothing but what we have okay now i need to go for python implementation let us see how you can able to solve this in python sir here you can read a value so by using int of input because input will always read the data in the form of string so i am converting into integer again b is equal to int of input and you have to print a plus b that's all run the code will it works yes perfectly working and submit the code like this you people have sir okay 
so hope you got very clear clarity about uh, how we can able to implement this program okay sir can you please confirm do you have any doubt in this second program please confirm everyone do you have any doubt in this second program i request everyone to please confirm you people are not at all asking the question seems to be easy for you people right okay right so anyway remaining things we will cover tomorrow sir tomorrow i am going to take uh, this recursion program whatever i have kept pending so prime number by using recursion then perfect number program okay tomorrow uh, we will talk about um, so prime number application prime number application using recursion okay then i will take this perfect number program after that third program fourth program fifth program sixth program seventh program and eighth program i will complete tomorrow okay then so from 9th program onwards up to 13th we will cover on friday okay with that uh, both batches will be having the same content and from 9th january onwards you people are going to combine that is from the coming monday and we will continue the class timings are from 8 to 9 o'clock okay the class timings are from 8 to 9 o'clock okay and sometimes i will take the special classes also okay so that to max on saturdays anyway saturday also we will start at 8 o'clock only okay it will be covered up to 9 30 sometimes or sometimes i will start at 7 o'clock and i will wind up by 9 o'clock like that rarely i will take okay so because there are some programs where we need to take some special concentration and uh, by changing small small modification some programs are there those things i want to cover at a stretch for that i am taking some two hours class also rarely okay so keep that in mind this is nothing but what we have okay remaining things anyway we will continue to post